Hi guys, hope you all done well on GATE 2021 Chemistry Examination. So here in this video, we are going to analyze memory based questions as part one. I hope this analysis may helpful for you in analyzing your answers. And uh, if we observe the memory based questions and based on uh, informations of uh, candidates who appear for gate 2021 chemistry examination the cutoff uh, may increase because here uh, the negative marking is just reduced for MCQs only so for MSQs and numerical answer questions there is no negative marking okay so and the questions are also not uh, uh, too much difficult so easiest questions are appeared in gate 2021 chemistry examination so we may expect the increased cutoff for gate 2021 chemistry examination okay right now just look at the first memory based question here so we have given with so here we need to find p then further so palladium catalyst okay so we need to find q here ortho metallation or directed ortho metallation is there so here m o m group direct lithium to its ortho position okay so in the first step here is a formation of or simply lithiated intermediate and in the next step so here formation of ZnCl2 then which reacts or just coupling takes place here and produces the final product so simply ortho directed product is absorbed okay so this is the question which is given in gate 2021 chemistry examination and the next question Uh, the question is on Barton reaction. So NOCl and aqueous NaOH. So we have given Barton reaction. So here you can see the hydroxy group. So here are alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. So the delta carbon should have hydrogens and these two should be on the same plane and near to each other and if you look at these methyl groups all or so equ equatorial and this is the only methyl group which is in axial position with delta hydrogens so simply the product here is CHOOH okay and the next question given on so that is a memory based question here i'm going to discuss so sulfonium violets are given CH2 minus N plus. So here CH2 minus N plus. So simply this is the so here it is a softer reagent and will lead to cyclo propane formation on 
alpha, beta, and saturated functional group. Okay, and here the harder reagent will attack on carbonyl group directly. Okay, and which leads to the formation of epoxide. Okay, so this is the question we have given. And uh, the next question least acidic among the given examples. So here we have given that C triple bond CH acetic acid and three methaxy phenol and some other option is given and uh, in that the least one is alkyne so based on pk values you can give it okay so for this alkyne the pk at almost 26 or 25 26 okay so least acidic one the one mark question so the next one So we have given seven molecules and in that we need to find which can make stereo isomers. Okay, so here some of the molecules. So this molecule can produce stereo isomers. So which is which is going to uh, give cis sign trans. Okay, that's why it is going to produce a stereo isomers. And next molecule is given as HOH, CH3, and here C, PH, OH, and H. So here you can see these two ends are different, and you can see these are chiral carbons, so they can produce stereoisomers. And another molecule is given as this. So this molecule can be expected as uh, not going to produce stereoisomers. Okay, so so we cannot produce stereoisomers from that. And another one which is given as aline with uh, four different substrates at the ends. So which going to produce stereoisomers? Okay, and uh, one or two molecules are there, so which are not remembered. So based on the uh, here uh, on the given four, uh, given uh, four, these three are the stereoisomers. Okay. And next question here. So we have given that uh, two bromo three methyl pentane which reacts with sodium methoxide okay and what is the product from this okay so first we need to draw the correct uh, correct uh, structure by just uh, uh, here we need to say 2r 3r okay so this is the molecule given right here so hydrogen here methyl and here is the hydrogen you can give one two three four and five so at the second just give the priority priorities here one so two three and four so it is anti-clockwise direction with least priority hydrogen on thick line then that's why we need to take opposite notation for it that is r okay now so the first priority for this one two and three okay and it is a uh, anti-clockwise direction with least priority hydrogen on thick line so we need to take opposite uh, notation for this so it is r so this is the correct representation and here you can see that on this molecule 
the bromine is backside and the hydrogen is above the plane okay so which are anti periplanar to each other bromine and hydrogen whenever the anti periplanarity is possible then the base can abstract the proton and eliminates that leaving group so which is going to produce alkene okay so here is a possibility to form this molecule as a product okay now just try to give uh, ej notation so one two and here one and two so they are opposite so they are simply opposite to each other that's why it is e so we can uh, it is going to produce e product as the major one okay we have given the iupac names and just try to give the iupac name and this is the correct product okay right and next question so we have given the mass spectra okay and uh, in that one is to two is to one ratio of uh, m plus m plus one and m plus four okay so m plus one i think one and two and four um, of uh, a molecule with uh, hnmr peak at 7.49 okay parts per million then we uh, we have given the different options as uh, so one comma two dichloro benzene and one comma two dibromo benzene and uh, next one comma four dibromo and one comma four uh, dichloro okay so in this based on one is two is to one ratio we can simply choose uh, one comma uh, that means a dibromo benzene okay in that which is simply relates with r though means one comma two dibromo benzene as the correct answer for that uh, dichloro benzene so the ratio is nine is to six is to one okay right and the next two one here so we have given the molecules which can be produced through nucleophilic substitution so here we have given like this okay here sh no2 no2 okay and uh, here is the iodine and uh, here ome so which are going to produce uh, through the nucleophilic substitution reaction i think uh, one or two molecules are missing so in that we can simply produce uh, uh, molecules so nucleophilic substitution is the one and two and also three okay right so if you have a uh, uh, memory on other uh, organic questions so please comment and we are we will uh, discuss those questions okay so in the next video we will discuss uh, inorganic and organic questions so if you have uh, if you memorize any questions you can uh, just comment and uh, we will discuss okay uh, i hope it uh, helpful for you thank you very much